Hey everybody, this is Nick from Arcade Hunters bringing you the premium videos. Ooh, we're gonna do... First, we're gonna make its own separate video. We're gonna be talking about the Twilight Zone on the Pinball Arcade. And something I should have said in the last video, I'm probably gonna save myself a couple of comments in the bottom, and I'm probably still gonna have people that are complaining. But, um... The fact why, you know, these games are not on the Xbox 360 and also on PC. And for some reason with PC, they're trying to go through Steam Greenlight, and it hasn't gotten picked up, even though it was one of the, you know, top 50 games on Steam Greenlight. So if you do have a Steam account, look them up on Steam Greenlight and try to vote them up. Try to get them the attention they need to try to get the game on there. And the problem with the Xbox 360 version, basically their publisher, Crave, went out of business, and you cannot self-publish a game on the Xbox 360. So, the last thing that they wrote in the last update that they did for the latest update, they said that they were in the process of finalizing a deal with another publisher, and they said after that deal goes through, they'll be able to upload the games back onto the Xbox 360. So, you know, all we have to do is wait. It's all going through legal. It's fun stuff. Just kind of like what it was with getting Star Trek in Twilight Zone. Got to go through legal. You got to pay the money. So, let's get into right there the Twilight Zone from Pat Lawler. You just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Yes, very nice. Here we go. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Yes. The one game that we did an Arcade Hunters episode on. Because it was in our hotel, and we said, screw it, it's an episode, they have a Twilight Zone. And it doesn't, it worked pretty damn good, I mean, I got Grand Champion on that game, because pretty much no one played it. Now, 2600 and I were playing that machine all night before we ended up going to bed. I got I had a dollar bill acceptor in it, because, uh... Oh, missed it. So... Pretty much the Twilight Zone, the biggest story about this game is obviously it's designed by Pat Lawler, and it was pretty much an answer to what happened with the, uh, the Addams Family, uh, the game that he produced after it, because the Addams Family sold, I forget, I keep forgetting the exact number, but it's the number one selling pinball machine of all time is the Addams Family, and because it sold so well, the guys over at Williams pretty much told Pat he goes, you have creative license, you can do whatever you want with your next game. And they were pretty much, you know, just giving the guy a blank check and saying, here you go. And this has ended up what he came up with. With, you know, we have four flippers. We've got the two magnet flippers in the power field. We've got the gumball machine with the ceramic power ball. So the power ball was brand new. It's a ceramic ball that's not affected by any of the magnets on the play field. It's also a lot lighter, so you got to be very careful when you do play with it. Right there, just let... Don't bother with the friggin' skill shot. I don't care if it lights up the pop bumpers. Stay out of the pop bumpers. Don't do the skill shot unless you need to get the, um... The, the award if you want to go for Lost in the Zone. Right, we have to try to get in the player piano for the, for the jackpot. So we can get in. Got it. And the right clipper into the camera, into the hole in the camera, will, uh... So. This is how you know, all the, mu the music changes if you get a jackpot, if you're just written regular, if you're in regular play, or if you've got... Certain things left. That's what I always love with these games. They always have like an attention to detail. One of the fun stories was um, was actually um, I'm pretty sure if you go on Pinball News, if you look up one of the fireside chats that they do at Pinball Expo with Pat Lawler, was um, they that they, they like to call this game in excess pinball because there was just so much stuff in it. And they talked about when um, they put this on location test, they put it into a they put it into a bar. And they said they, you know, one guy ended up stepping up to the machine and said he was just looking at the game going, what the hell is a power ball? And just kind of like walked away from it. And there goes my computer's fan again. But, the, I mean, there's a lot of references to all different Twilight Zone episodes, you know. 
even though there's not an episode with a gumball machine, but it's it seems like something that would be in a Twilight Zone episode. You know, you got Talking Tina and you got the robot. It's really cool. I love how they had the idea of uh, putting in uh, Golden Earrings' uh, Twilight Zone as the uh, main play song. You're not hearing. Got the lock. Let's see if we can get the power ball to come out of its... Trying to get that camera, because that camera will give you a bunch of rewards. You also want to go right here, where my uh, thumb is. You can't really... Right there, where my thumb is. That's the, uh, the slot machine. If you're trying to get to the final mode of the game, which is pretty hard to do, and I'm not going to do it in the uh, usual ten minutes that I give to um, these videos, because just for this... Uh, Gumball again. Another gun. And then, oh, I'm a star. And still, still to this day, these machines still command a pretty penny for, uh... You can see the power balls coming out, and that's the next ball that's in the line. And here it comes. The problem with the, on Pinball Arcade is I don't think they have it in the software to actually make the power ball different to the other balls. It just kind of reacts like a regular ball. It's like you think, okay, I got this ball. I'll use it. In, you can use it in uh, in the multi ball if you get. Do you get it as as your uh, jackpot? You will have a double jackpot, but it's it's not worth it because you get Powerball Mania right now that I'm in, which is the other jack is the other uh, multi ball mode. Let's see if we can get up and put. We're up there in the power field, and I screwed up. So I was kind of worried when um, when this came out on Pinball Arcade. I said, you know, the pin. I said the magnets in the power field are going to be really really easy to uh, defeat the power, but it feels almost just like a real Twilight Zone machine. It's you can't. It's not a guarantee when you get into that, uh, when you do get on there. Now, I've probably played like, maybe like seven or eight Twilight Zones, you know. You know, pretty much a lot of places have had the Twilight Zone. It's a very, very popular game. It's one of my favorites. And, you know, even now, like this, as I said, you know, this game still gets the price that uh, most people that it was being sold for when it came out originally it's that it's that popular and it's that good of a game so right there that is the twilight zone and this extra ball but i've already had my complaints about i wish it had a tournament mode so it didn't have the extra ball just to give that more la a little layer of challenge so right there that's the twilight zone and i'm nick from arcade hunters thanks very much for watching we'll talk to you later